<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Intoxicados Podcast, your Tia's favorite podcast. I am your co-host, Diego Noboa. Alongside me, I have the one and the only Barber. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having an amazing Monday. I'm having an amazing Friday. As you guys don't know, it's a Friday today. Chill, nothing crazy, but let me not get ahead of myself. Right next to me, we have the one, the only, the maniacs, Felipito. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Filipito here. Sorry for a little drowsy, we're a little sleepy. We just woke up. Sadly, it's 11, I know it's 1 p.m. on a Friday <laughs> afternoon. That's insane, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, it, this will be dropping Monday, so hey, man, go get after it, Mo. Was, was it Money Making Mondays? Monday, ma- Money Making man, Mondays. Making Love Mondays? We can't change it to that. Oh, that's a good one. That was pretty nice. Love Making Mondays? Making Babies Mondays? Nah, yeah. Okay, anyways, that, that was too much. Trade market. <laughs> what's it called? Uh, what's up, guys? We haven't been in this studio for over a month. Has yeah. it been a month already? It, I think it's been a month. Oh, my God. Where did the time go, bro? It's We're, been a minute. If you guys want to be completely transparent on why we haven't been here, it's because I have baby mama trouble. She's been coming in here, tagging up the spot, so they kicked me <laughs> out for a month. <laughs> now, um, it feels good to see bags been a little minute since we've been in the studio yeah, uh, yeah. because... It, we actually just got tagged in a clip. That's exactly oh, what oh, I was yeah. going to say. Yeah, go ahead. What happened? No, well, it's apparently uh, Felipe, Felipe was scrolling to TikTok, Regs, and uh, he told me, he's like, yo, look what we got tagged in. And it's another podcast that these two beautiful, lovely ladies also host right here in this very own studio. And they were tagging us because they were like, yo, isn't that Chico's Toxico Studio? <laughs> yeah, man. Two beautiful women were here. They used the same studio as us. I don't yeah. know who. I don't know the name. I forgot what the name was. Yeah, another pretty beautiful, man. They were sitting right over there. They were they sitting were right sitting... where Felipe is? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what the f***? <okay? laughs> no, no if way. If I'm not mistaken, they just had a guy guest on tonight. Bro, guys, we don't own this uh, studio. You know, shout out to our management. They let us literally use this free of charge, bro. Free of charge. We don't pay for you. So thank you guys so much. Shout out David and the whole team. Um, but yeah, it feels good. What, what, what we got? We got November, new month. You know, it's getting... a year, a year oh. is coming up uh, with our one year anniversary of us uh, starting Chico's Toxico is coming up. And we've been saying, bro, because we've been saying for the longest. And it's explaining to the people why we haven't done a construction video. Mm-hmm. That's what we want to do. That's one of our first banger videos. That's one of the first videos yeah. that me and Diego sat down and cooked up. And, um, Hey, Brad, Brandon was a part of it. When Brandon was a part of it. But actually, boy, Brandon made his debut. On yeah, the, that was all his debut. Shit, they subbed him in. Just, <laughs> and he performed. You feel me? Yeah. like this. He looked, he looked at the camera went like this. Ah, my. Yeah. Like that. Dead ass, bro. And uh, yeah, it's coming <clears throat> up. By the way, guys, we have not done a construction video. Not because. I was literally just talking to Evan. Trying to see their idea. Evan, Evan, who? Evan Young, he's like, hey, remember we're construction. Nah. I'm like, ah, that's our shit, King. <laughs> no, nah, but he's like, hey, man, you think you can plug me in? I'm like, bro, the thing is, what construction is, is we don't want to disrespect anybody. And when we go in there, we actually go work. You get me? Yeah. Like, that's the full deal. Like, you can't come in midday. You feel me? You got to get up at four in the morning, you know, be with the guys at five, meet up at the job site at 5 30. You got to do the full shebang. And, and if, go, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, like, like the dones there, they don't want you no, around. No, they don't want you filming and, and playing around. Like, that's yeah, true. we. Like we were blessed enough that the time we did the video is because my suegro, shout out my suegro, Don Alberto, plugged us in with the work and that was a slow day and he actually made us work. It might have been a small room that really only takes a regular person an hour to do, but it took us a whole day. We did it, you feel me? Yeah. So uh, that's why we don't want to go in there and Bro, you got to imagine, bro, my dogs are putting in work every single day and then some dumbass coming with a camera we just start vlogging yeah like we we show respect you feel me and uh remember that they brush is crazy but we really blessed the dons with us uh, some beer too yeah yeah, yeah. That was I, a, that was I remember we couldn't put that on camera or really put it out like that because there was a work snitch i hate those bro i hate there's always one work snitch yeah, trying to get, like, promotion there's really people like that bro he's like he's like oh no me las, uh, no me las ahorita uh, estar el, el patron uh-huh. but he's like laughing like it, was, yeah. it wasn't oh, like el patron. El patron. oh yeah 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 but yeah man it's dope yeah, one year coming up, um, November, if I'm not mistaken, the date might be the uh, November 26th or 27th that we posted that video. Really? Was was that like right before Thanksgiving or right around, where, where was this? It might have been like a week before Thanksgiving. Nah, a couple of days because or, uh, we took the family shopping for Thanksgiving. That's what she said, oh, I'm inviting you guys over for Christmas. Yeah, oh, man, I don't know, yeah. but it's been a journey, bro. It's been a, we're literally about to hit a year on this YouTube thing, and uh, I'm bro. so glad that we were, we went all in on it, yeah. bro. Like... Looking back at it, um, like I remember, I even have a tweet. If you go to my Twitter, I have a tweet pinned, and it was it tells you the exact date, and it was. Uh, Are you talking about X? 
X, whatever. Wait, you have you have X? Yeah, I have X. Oh, I never, I didn't know. Yeah, I have X. Um, if you oh, go, we know my, you have X. I have X. Yeah, but isn't, it, isn't it. it isn't it amazing that now they hide the fucking the, the likes? Um, I guess, man. No, no. <laughs> what what, what are you liking? liking? <laughs> <laughs> never mind, gang. I'll just stay out of this. Isn't, isn't it just, amazing, dude, yeah, bro? You I'm just, just snitch on to, yourself. I'm just trying to make conversation, <laughs> gang. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Anyways, so I have a tweet that literally says, "Uh, 2024, I'm going all in on YouTube. I'm tweeting this." Uh, to hold myself accountable, and then, bro, we like, like, we look back from we're not, we haven't had a year mark yet, but, bro, we grew the channel to a, almost 300k. It's about yeah. to be, um, and then recently, oh no, no, and then we did our podcast, the podcast. We too. started a podcast maybe like three or four months after that, our, and our, then our merch, our merch the started, merch. the merch started coming in. The connections that we started meeting, we met a lot of beautiful people, wonderful people. Mm-hmm. It's been, it's, it's definitely been a journey. I mean, for me, if you would have asked me two years ago, like, well, what, where do I see myself in the next whatever two years? Like, I would definitely not tell you this. I'll probably tell you that I might be at the barbershop, fucking, just doing the same regular shit. But it's been such a journey. It's been a lot of ups. It's been some downs. But at the end of the day, I think you know we've been we've been we've been holding on to God's hands, and He's been guiding us the the best way possible and it's been amazing it really yeah. has it i really do sit back and trip out bro like we really started this shit. it's about to be a fucking year it's it and it's consistency too we've yeah, been very yeah. consistent with everything we have obviously it's, a week actually we, we did one one but it was because we had a strike on youtube yeah we got, yeah. We got banned basically yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> but it's been like a, it's been a and on top of the things that the accomplishment that we've been doing uh, to the channel i've been i'm also very proud of you guys because obviously we have our live in the channel but we also have a personal life. And as you guys can see, a lot of things happen, you know, with you, with myself and with Felipe. But they still he- they still held strong and they came back better than ever. Just wanting to put in more effort and just just f-ing shoot for the stars. Yeah. So it's been good. It's been very good. I think why um, it's funny, like, OK, so like r- around this time last year, not this time, like December, like usually the- when New Year's is about to happen. Like, you see, like, all these people on TikTok that they look back on a year, like, January, February, blah, blah, blah. But I specifically remember, and he doesn't even know that I'm, like, I don't know why, but this got stuck in my brain. But I I, I called Hedo, I think this was, like, in December of last year. And um, this was when we first started doing YouTube. So I would call him sometimes. I don't know why, but I would just, like, chat with him. And he's like, yeah, man, like, I look back on the year, and uh, he's like, bro, there's I only posted, like, like 20 to 25 videos the entire year he's like and there's 53 weeks there's 365 days in the in the year 53 weeks in the year how 52 however many and i only posted like 25 videos and he's like i feel like i didn't do anything and i don't know why that stuck with me that i was like damn bro if i look i want to look back like whenever at the end of the year and be like nah bro we pumped out videos like i want to be like nah if there was 365 days i try to post at least a hundred videos whether it's like chico stokes goes combined whether we're on the zoo culture channel podcast now that we have our own channel like i, I don't know i want to look back uh when the when the year is about to end and i want to like really sit down and be like all right like how much work did i really put in like these last 365 days like did i really go above and beyond and i think that's what my goal for to end the year is for me because, and then yeah because it's easy to get comfortable i feel like especially in the space yeah it's real easy to get comfortable like mm. i feel like it like <clears throat> like sometimes we catch each other when like, bro we're slacking on certain departments of of work or business wise and like how how hello said like there's 53 weeks and you only post 25 i'm not not bash on hello shout out my dog hello but that's only half the time yeah like and what like, like what do you do what did you do with the other time yeah you know it's I mean? and it's crazy when they like in for your example when you broke it down <laughs> when you broke it down into numbers and you really, really put the numbers up and everything. It just, it, it's, it's a reality check at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I, me personally, and then I'm not speaking for myself. I'm speaking for both, both of you guys. I don't think that you guys ever get comfortable, but I do feel like you guys are very driven to, to do something. Same thing with Felipe. Felipe mentioned it before. He's like, dude, we li- we only have one life. What the f- to be just at home playing video games? Like, let's mm-hmm. go out and do something. And I see that drive from him. He, he texts us. He sends a messages like, yo, what the. F- you doing let's do this let's do that which is good you got to have people like that on your team <clears throat> there's a saying that people say misery needs company and yeah like you know they go a lot of people go out they want to have fun drink this, this and this i like that too but no, who doesn't you know yeah. i'm not gonna say him be like, i, 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 I like it i like it. i really do i hate the hangovers but i love it but yeah. guess what at the end of the day you want to sit back and you're like there was 365 days and i did all this by like not by myself sorry i did all this with the team and, and it feels it feels really it feels really good. It feels productive. Being productive is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. In life. I think that's my my goal. Like I said, look back at the year and be like, hey, man, 
I gave, I put a lot out, like in the 365 days, I, I tried as much as I can. I try to do it, be as produ- productive as I can. And then, man, on to the next year, bro. Big, big goals, bigger goals. Bigger goals. Because uh, last year, uh, I think the the main goal was to start the merch, which was the hats. And now we're on to something bigger for next year that we're excited. Hopefully it goes through. We got we don't want to say too much yet, but there's a lot of things that we want to accomplish for it's, 2025. It's a lot of things. There's a lot of things in the works, and God willingly, you know, we can execute them and, and, and go good. Uh, so, something that someone was telling me the other day, too, was like, um, he's a well, he's one of my clients. He's well off. And he was telling me that um, he's uh, he's never been scared to fail, right? He he had he started over fifteen businesses, and all fifteen of them they just they they just wouldn't hit. And it wasn't until he he started his last business where it finally hit. And he says that he looks back and he's very grateful that he never gave up on it, no, and that he, at least he tried it, because this happens a lot, and it's happened in my family before. Where like let's say I try to do something, I try to start something new. And I tell him, and it's always that one person that tries to bring it down. Like, oh, like, why are you starting this? Look at the economy. You shouldn't be doing this. You should be saving it for something else, whatever. And then you go out and do it. You fail. And then they come right back to you. And then they tell you, see, I told you. And that I told you f-ing hurts, bro. It hurts more than just losing the business. Because in reality, you're like, yeah, you did tell me. But you don't have sh- going on. And at least I tried and I failed. So, mm-hmm. you know, if you fall, at least you fall forward. Get up and, 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 and try it again. Try it mm-hmm. again. If it fails, it fails. But at least at the end of the day, when you sit back, when you're, when you sit back, when you're in your fucking house, you're 80 years old, rocking in your, on your, fucking, uh, rocking chair, you're gonna be like, damn, I tried it, and it did go good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, shit like that. Yeah, man. But uh, besides that, this past weekend, we went to Picolandia. It was a fucking movie. That was amazing. That boy Bradley Martinez rode horses, drink. What is it called? That goat milk. And drink. I had that, but I won't go back to that boat. And, and people are kind of, I mean, not, but we should go back to that <laughs> boat. Fault, man. But people are like, hey, like, but we don't hear about the video. We watched it. Oh. <laughs> but if you haven't watched it, yeah, we did take Brad. We'll get, we'll get behind Brad, the Brad, no. Brad, 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 like Brad rode the horse. But I want to get back to that. My fault. I got, I got a text from my sister. No, you're good. But um, that's, that's, I love that, bro. I love that. And uh, I think Diego once told me, bro, like, um, you know, go home, uh, go hard, but never go home hard. Something like that. <laughs> I never say that, nah, but I was kidding. like, yeah, nah, was I Felipe line. Nah, I, I, I really, I really like, uh, liked what you were saying, especially about like the not giving up because I always hear like, you can't be someone that never gives up, but like you could beat the f- at somebody and like if they could, they wouldn't get back up, like you ain't win, you feel me? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's I really, I really, I, that, that hit me hard. Thank you. No, it like, was like one of your strokes. Yeah. Hard as fuck. <laughs> no, it was one of the things and going, going, going to what you said, um, with with Felipe, I've been knowing Felipe for a long time. Before when he, I remember before he even had ten thousand followers on Instagram, he was still pushing. He was still rocking with it. Obviously, I know Diego. I know Diego now, but I didn't know his come up. With Felipe's come up, I seen it. I witnessed it firsthand. I was around. I I was around the circle. I heard things. I heard negative things. I heard positive things. I seen in, in his videos when he would do back then when you were doing skits and they were longer than they should be, you know, yeah. or things like that. Some hit, some didn't. But the thing, biggest thing about this motherfucker, and I'll always say it, is that he never gave up. And then now you can go at his in his Instagram and you can see. And this is this is coming from me. This is just me giving you your flowers, also to to you. But it's like you can go on his Instagram. He's about to hit two hundred and fifty thousand followers. You have you hit him yet? Or you haven't hit him. No. no. It's about to hit two hundred and fifty thousand followers. And I sit back and I told him when I would when I would go um. When I would go on his TikTok, or mostly Instagram, because I'm not really active on TikTok, I would see the comments. They were hate. Some of them were hate comments, and they would get to me. Like it would get to me more than him, because I'm someone that started my business with the barbering, and we took the initiative to do it. Yes, like I, you know, he's trying, and now he's literally like picking the fruits from the, from the labor that 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 he got to. He put in the work and now he gets to he gets to enjoy. Not saying you know it's anything crazy, not crazy, but he's enjoying it because he started. and He didn't give up. There's some shit I would see sometimes on Instagram or even on TikTok where they say or YouTube when they say like a little hate comment and you're just like, now you don't take it, you don't take it like nah, f- this guy. No, you just take it as like, bro, I'm trying. Like I'm I'm really really am trying. Like, you know we wake it, you know well today we woke up at. But there's days where you just, you know, you wake up early, which a lot of people, a lot of people, and shout outs to you guys. I'll never take that from you guys. There's people that have three, four, five kids, have to wake up at four or five in the morning, buzz their ass, 12 hours. I get, that. I'll never knock that away from you guys. But it's the effort that you guys put into this. It's the effort that doesn't go unnoticed. And that goes to you guys too. If no one's ever told you, like, 
yo, like we're proud of you guys. Like we're proud of you guys. Mm-hmm. I never, I think to this day, uh, well, 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 let me, let me give you a little insider around these holidays. I do get a little like emotional, whatever, but there's, I never got a, f- I'm proud of you for my father. Never. I never got it. Do I want it? Yes. I don't need it, but I definitely want it. If he can call me and say, I'm proud of you for the shit you're doing, that would be amazing. But anyways, we're not going to sidetrack. The whole thing is we're proud of you guys. We really are. We know what hard work is. And we're not talking about this whole YouTube shit. We're talking about like, I used to work 13 hours at a shop sometimes, 12 hours without eating. Diego used to wake up early in the morning to go to his job. Felipe used to wake up early and then still have to come home and sometimes get negative hate from our parents, from whatever. Don't let that shit stop you. Just keep rocking with it bro they're gonna knock you down just get back up and this shit now you were spitting on that one gang I'm nah, give it 100. thank you you bro. actually was going in bro you described our lives pretty good yeah it's a thing but but again bro we're just proud of you guys every single one of you guys and i know people don't have someone like they can come home to and be like you know mijo congratulations whatever but we're here for you guys congratulations for everything that you're doing you know it's funny you 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 mentioned the um like the I'm so proud of you thing, or like I'm proud of you. Yeah. And I've I'm I've posted this on my story before and on my Instagram, but literally, bro, and I kid you not, I'll go on my WhatsApp right now, and the last last <laughs> message I have from my dad on WhatsApp, uh, may he rest in peace, bro, is um, and I posted it already, but like somebody said I should frame it. They're like, bro, you should frame that. Like that's his last message of me. But look at that. Read that shit out loud. I can't make that up, bro. It says in all caps. I am so proud of you with a bunch of exclamation points. That's his That's last beautiful. message to me, bro. That is the last. And it's crazy. It's a beautiful thing that you can go back and, and, and see that, bro. It's, it's, it's an amazing fucking feeling. Guys, you know, I know every parent's not perfect. I know our audience out there. They are people that have kids and everything. I understand. Felipe said this before, he, and that shit hit me, is you only live, you, you've, You've only lived life once, like once in your fucking life. I get it. You fuck up. I probably will not be the perfect parent. You're probably not going to be the perfect parent. But if you have the chance to correct the wrongs that you did, go ahead and do them. Call your fucking kid. Tell them you're proud of them. Your, your kids, if you're watching, tell your parents that you're proud of them. It goes a long way. Those little words go a fucking long way. Especially if you know how to use them. You feel me? No cap. <laughs> no cap. But nah, yeah. I think, I think the... And this is my first time, I think... I knew, and you know, last year around this time, you would tell, you would always say, like, you know, around the holidays, like, I, I usually like uh, get around my feelings, yeah. and you're not, you're not the only one. I'm guessing, you know, there's a lot of people that are like that around the holidays. They get flashbacks of certain things, and I never understood it. I was like, you know, I, 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 I understood, but I didn't understand because yeah. I didn't live through whatever it is that mo- like people were going through. Of course, but bro, this year is for sure gonna. F- one hundred percent. It's the is is your first year, bro. It's yeah. your first year, and the thing about the thing about it, it's it's such um. It's a crazy feeling, bro, because, like, it's supposed to be... What, what do people des- describe the holidays? With joy. jolly, yeah. Jolly, joy. You're supposed to have joy. I think what, family. Family, 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 That's joy. Awesome, yeah, um, connection, everything. But it's so hard to be connected in, in or be part of that circle when you're not connected with yourself, when you got some going on in the back of your head. Yeah. I remember my first year, too, and I'm sure you probably... You remember this. I remember this vividly. For Christmas Eve, because, you know, Latinos celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. I literally, I got home from work, and I did not want to get out of the house. I literally, I, I served myself, it was uh, it was uh, cognac with, with Coke, and I was just sipping it in my room, and I did not want to step out of the house. I told my grandma, I don't want to come out. My grandma, because my grandma knows I get really depressed, de- depressed sometimes, and she literally dragged me out of the f-ing house, and she said, I'm not going to leave you there. And I feel like... I feel bad because I feel like I wasn't vibing with anyone. I was just in the corner by myself. But it's just it's just f-ing hard. You yeah. know what I mean? It's hard. And I'm glad I got out of that f-ing house because you just you start getting crazy thoughts and shit, but yeah. it's hard. It's hard. Nah, Whatever hit, it is, just keep pushing through it. Nah, I think it's even harder because like I always said, uh, I was trying to mentally prepare myself for my birthday. I knew I, I already knew like when it happened, I was like, damn, bro, like it just happened right as all the about to come up yeah my bro. birthday thanksgiving christmas new year's and i was like bro this holiday is gonna be a bitch so like i was like you know what i'm just mentally prepared like i'm gonna be good like i'm gonna like it's gonna be hard but i'm gonna be good birthday came around i'm in tokyo bro i'm, nice. ju- I'm just chilling in japan and it was uh it was like after a long day and i got back to my airbnb and uh just fucking bawling my fucking eyes out bro i was like damn bro like it's my first birthday without my dad and um 
and but so what i did was i i went through I, I he used to always leave me voicemails right he would leave me voicemails um and so i went through my voicemails and i just started like hearing the voicemails and then i went on like you can click I, I never saw this like all the way at the bottom of the voicemails you can click on like old view older messages or deleted messages i forgot but there's like another option to see like more and i was like F let me click on it and bro like there was one i just kept scrolling and i saw like you know pops whatever some other number some number number and then bro i kid you not i run into a voicemail on october 18th of like 2021 or something mm -hmm. and it was like hey man happy birthday I don't know, like, what you doing? You're not picking up the phone call. Bro, I started bawling my eyes out. It was a voicemail that my dad left me, like, yeah. a, like two or three years ago. And I don't know how it was still on my phone, bro. And, um, and yeah, that, 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 that me up. But then I told you guys recently when I was putting up my Christmas tree that that it was another one that just fucking, because they remember I was like, yeah, like, it hit me. It was, you always say it's like a, it's a wound that's just like, never heals. It just keeps opening. It just keeps opening. Yeah. yeah. And so, Christmas tree came up and we started um, setting it up and bro I just got flashbacks from when I was like a kid and all the way up to like before I moved out honestly maybe up to when I was 18 or 19 I would help my dad each year take out from the garage you know everything the bins out of the garage and go set up the tree in the, in the house and whatnot and um, yeah that that already hit me for Christmas but uh, Thanksgiving's coming up I think that was like his favorite holiday because he would cook like my pops could cook so he would always cook like the ham and the fuck um what's it called the, the potato salads and all that shit. so it's definitely gonna hit me like thanksgiving coming up and christmas coming up new year's coming up but it just kind of proves to show that um you know you don't know a lot could happen in a year a whether lot. that's you know your business your health your family somebody in your family's health so uh if there, i don't know if anybody needs to hear this like let's say you were thinking about visiting your family for thanksgiving but uh, i want to spend it over here i don't want to make that trip I don't know who needs to hear this. Somebody has to hear it. But, like, just take the time, bro. Go spend your Thanksgiving, your Christmas, your holidays with your family because you truly do not know when your last moment with somebody is. Yeah. And um, especially around the holidays, you – yeah, shit is different. Yeah. Your shit is different, nah, bro. No, nah, that's 100% true. And remember – guys, remember this. Like, life's a – like, that shit does not hold back. So when you uh -oh. think you're on top of the world, life comes around, smacks you in the fuck face so hard like bradley <laughs> yeah. martin did to that guy <laughs> and then bro then you're like holy sh though like you know it just hits you so enjoy your time if you haven't have it with your parents do it yeah but you know i actually if this is okay with you philippe's like you've always you've always been a strong guy both physically mentally and everything bro you've been through a lot we've seen it i've seen it firsthand everything you do show emotions but a lot of your emotions are always happiness what the f like what goes through your head bro around these holidays and everything like like what 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 keeps you up bro what keeps you grinding besides obviously i guess that's pretty self-explanatory knowing the fact that we had a conversation before where like you used to go to sleep hungry sometimes bro and i used to go to sleep early because he wanted that hunger to go away and like if you really think about it that's crazy as a that shit bro if that fucking hairs on your toes like i don't know what the would so besides obviously your hustle your drive and everything like what like how do you stay strong like what do, what do you do like what's your emotions uh around the holidays around the holidays i'm gonna be honest it's, it's just really trying to spend the time with the family um i feel like uh for a good while like i just wouldn't care about the holidays okay first cause i have money and and that's my fault you know like i always get a lot of backlash for the like oh bro you didn't have to quit your job like you could have still kept working if you really want to pursue your dreams that is 100 percent true but the thing is, guys, my job was really physical and demanding, and it was, like, time-consuming. Like, I'd go in at, like, we'd meet at the job site at 6. You know, I wouldn't get out of work till 5.30 and then get stuck in an hour of traffic. So, like, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., and then still come home and try to make content. Mind you, maybe call me a cloud chaser or not. Zoo culture, everybody leaves by, like, 1, 1 p.m. So I was like, bro, I can't even make content with the people I want to make content. So that's why I stopped working. And I remember around the holidays, like around this time, yeah. every year, every year, I, I'd go back and call and call my girlfriend's dad. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, hey, man, you're doing shit right now, man. Like, it's, it's a little slow, man. You need work? <laughs> and there's work all the time. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I'd go to work only, like, bro, I just would make my list of who I'm getting a gift for. And I'd be like, okay, so I'm going to waste 100 on her. Yeah. I'm going to waste 100 on this person. So I only need to work like seven days. And I can mm -hmm. go back on my grind for social media. Mm -hmm. And, bro, I remember I'd work like two weeks straight. And then and I'd be like, 
Hey man, that's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll go back to making social, but I don't have enough money for like gift. Yeah. But I, everybody have a budget. Oh, yeah. but now I found a steal, like a like like let's say let's say I was gonna get my girlfriend's mom a bag, and that shit, I go to the Camarillo outlets and it was only fifty bucks. Steal, bro. Ooh. I'm like, oh, I just pocketed this shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> the budget was a hundred, but I just found it for fifty. Yeah, I yeah. Did. So yeah, but. I, that's just a little funny story I wanted to say. <laughs> but around the holidays, bro, I do miss my dad. Like, why I sit here and lie and why I act like a tough guy? Y'all see me cry. Y'all see that shit all over the internet. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> but uh, I miss my dad, bro. But how I tell everybody, this is what comes to my mind when shit like this happens. It, why, like, I don't want to cry because at the end of the day, it's not going to fix anything. Yeah. Like, he's not going to come back. Like, yeah. I hate to break it to whoever's seeing this, crying and throwing a fit and... It's not it's not gonna bring anybody back, but I just think about the great memories that we had, and I'm like, he wouldn't want me just here crying. But I do He'd think not. But, but I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I do think it is good to let your emotions. Yeah, out. yeah, of course, no, you of course. But, but mine's been a couple of years now. You get me? Yeah. yeah. Like it's been what 2021. It's been three years. Like I'm like, like I'm telling you, but my dad's a real strong, like a real old school Mexican dad, bro. My dad was born in 1960, bro. Like mm. he's not in Mexico too. Just scratch yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Like he was not no like, oh man, let your emotions out. I know for a fact, but like, what would my dad want at this moment? My be like, man, para de llorar. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. you're a man, man. You, which is like a bad thing to think, but I'm like, that's what my dad would want. You get me? Yeah. But that's it, what he would want, and I'm like, I'm gonna fulfill his dream. He'd be like, man, back ahead. Yeah. yeah. I said, I'll go hang out with your mom. He for sure tell me go hang out with your mom. I actually have a question for you guys, but before I ask the question, uh, going back to you know how you, you said like you have to work in the holidays or. You ain't never had enough money or like whatever. Um, I know, I know there's a saying, but I want to get your opinion on the saying. But there's a saying that says, "If you're born in poverty, it's not your fault. If you die, if you die in poverty, if you die fault. in poor, or like pretty much if you're if you die poor, if you're born poor, I don't want to say I don't know if poor is like a bad, you know what I'm saying? If it sounds bad, I'm not trying to make it sound bad. But the saying goes like, if you're born poor, that's your that's not your fault. But if you die poor, then it is your fault." Mm-hmm. I think that's it's pretty much facts. I, t- I think it's a I think it's a great quote. I understand that sometimes their people's environment doesn't allow them for them to like you know progress in life, but there's always a way. Mm. There's always a fucking way. If I sit here, I was driving down. I was driving down right here in Hollywood, and um, I see I saw a fucking guy in a in a red Lambo, and my mentality back then was like, fuck, dude, like. I can literally, right? I can just imagine myself there driving down the four or five, my Holland drive. That'll be dope. But my mentality now is like, what do I have to do to get to that car? Mm-hmm. Like, how can I get that car? I used to want, I want, I wanted to live my life through someone else's, just seeing them pass by. But now it's like, no, like I want it. Like I really, I'm not saying a red Lambo, but what I'm saying is like, I want, I want to do it. I want to hustle my way to do something. I'm pretty sure when I, if 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 I ever get the blessing to be able to afford a Lambo, I'm probably gonna look at this shit like. Can you have quarter mil, half a mil? I'm not gonna buy this shit. I go buy something else. But just being able to have the opportunity to be able to do it, I think it'll be f-ing, it's dope. So I yeah. think yeah, I can resonate to that. Yeah, I think I think like anybody can adapt to like becoming a hustler. Yeah, but a a a, a, a good hustler, like a legal hustler, yeah, not yeah. like no like Hustle's you know what I'm saying, hustle, not not, not that. But I think like for example, okay. for example, when we went or Felipe is a great example of hustler, by the way. <laughs> but if you guys don't know, Felipe is a middleman to a lot of. But oh, we keep that off camera. We keep that off camera, man. <laughs> but Felipe, a hustler. I'm going to just leave it at that. But remember when we went to the Notena Amore Fest? There was this lady outside selling alcohol. Little beatboxes. $15 for a little beatbox. And she's smart, bro. She was like, hey, inside they're selling it for 30 But you don't know that until you get inside. So you're like, maybe she's right. You know damn well that she was. But you're like, man. No, yeah. But that's a hustler, bro. She went out in the morning. She woke up and she was like, yo, I'm going to go and finesse these dumb alcoholic motherfuckers. <laughs> that are trying to go to the festival. I'm like, well, buy these buzz balls for like three dollars or whatever it costs. Resell them for triple the price. Like hustler mentality, bro. Like That's she could have just nobody else was doing it, but she decided to be like, hey man, I'm gonna go make this bread. I think I think and she came up. I think when we saw the smile on her face when you gave her the money game. Yeah, she was like, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have an amazing show. No, no, but you commented. You were like, hey, you just pulled the fattest lick. Yeah, huh? I did. I and did. she was like, yep. Yeah, no, but it's but it's like I didn't. Yeah, and, and it's funny because. I didn't see it in a negative way. I seen it like, like the way she saw it. Like I'm gonna just sell to these dumbasses. Yeah, they want yeah, it. They want it. Yeah, and it just made me feel like that would have done the same. She just hit the fattest leg, huh? Yeah. She said, "Yeah." That smile on her face, man. You can't. And it's a hustle. I respect that. the hustle. Respect the hustle. Like, 
like i was a little happy to give her the money i was like <laughs> yeah, like i was like i was like you smart as yeah. i was like here just just to give him this shit and she came up like 70 bucks on the article hey, three. Then, now that i'm thinking about it I'm, i was thinking about like uh, give an example of when i've hustled but <laughs> I can't say none of them. <laughs> yeah, none of them. <laughs> no, none, of them. <laughs> none of them. But Felipe's a hustler too. Yeah, it's just shit he does off camera. Legal, legal activities, of course. But it's motherfucker funny because no matter Felipe's a definition of like understanding what it was like to have nothing. To like, I think that mentality is gonna stick with him even if he has mil or even when he has millions down the years. That I feel like he's always gonna keep that like. Now nah, I gotta save this money and I gotta find a way to keep making more. And I respect it. That's a that's a that's a you know what I'm saying. You know what it's like to have nothing and you don't ever want to go back to it. Yeah. So but yeah, you're like like Felipe does not need to do it, get an extra few hundred bucks here and there. But he's still a hey, come yeah. up. He's like, hey, man, I just hey, man, you see me on offer up, man. Mind yeah, you mind. catch him on offer up. <laughs> mind your business. Yeah. <laughs> you catch him like, hey, remember when we pulled up on that dude? I was gonna say yeah. that. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Say it, say it. Hey man, wait, what, what dude? The 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 belts, the WWE the wrestling belts. belts. Oh no no no! Should I say about? The, oh, nah. nah 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 nah. nah. <laughs> oh man, nah, but the WWE. <laughs> <laughs> nah man, bro, just just know if you see me on offer, bro, just <laughs> <laughs> should I have the money on time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. What happened to the WWE belts that night? Oh, I wanted a WWE belt, but I wanted a real one. But he low-key hold me. He like he hold the hustler. Oh, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> bro, we were right there already. We happened to be by the area. I'm like, yo, bro, you gonna pick up? Can I pick up the WWE belt? He's like, yeah, bro, pull up. I get there, bro, the fake ass WWE. <laughs> but I wanted the real one, like the one that clips on and spinny. Sh and, and point is, bro. But then he recognized you, like, hey, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. He's like, like, hey, don't you ever take that? I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm like, hey, bro. I was like, you want one? We got a tag team one. Yeah, remember? Yeah, tag teams. I think that he was signing for twenty each, and then I was like, bro, just, I was like, just give this. 15 game and we got both like 15 or something like that and not even the pain he paid yeah bro but it was so funny because he really legit thought it was going to be the big ass belt bro I really they, thought so they gave him the, the <laughs> boo -boo little, ass little one little ass baby he plastic looked, belt looked one. he looked at it he was like come on game 15 <laughs> that shit was just funny man funny man. ass stories but with that being said you said you had a question to ask us no Fuck, oh, I did have a question the to ask oh did y'all did, did your parents uh, let you believe in Santa Claus yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. Nah, my mom broke it down to me pretty quick. She was like, that's Jesus' birthday. Like, uh, oh, she went to the, yeah, the, the, that yeah. right. Oh, okay. My mom would just be honest. Like, we pay for them. Like, I would go, I, I look at, like, <laughs> I mean, I can't be ungrateful, but I'd be mad. I'd be like, at least, like, don't tell me. Because, like, they would take me, like, to La Corazón and shit. Because after they would do their shopping for, like, the Christmas time. And they'd be like, okay, you want the DS? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want the DS. And like, okay, I bought it for you, but you can't open it until Christmas. I'm like, yeah. bruh, like. Yeah, like you should, I, I, I wanted the little surprise. Like, yeah, okay, what yeah. am I gonna have under the tree? Yeah, I believed it up till I, I was like maybe eight or nine, and then, and then my mom just crushed the dreams. She just kind of like told me straight up, like, not nah, Christmas is like we celebrate Jesus, Jesus' day, uh, birthday. And but it's a, it's a good way of telling you, like, it's you know that one's no, it was it was cool though. Like up to when I was like nine, it was cool because um, I would remember turning on the TV, and they had like if you would. Shout out to Orlando, man. News 13. I'll never forget this. Channel 13, gang. You go on, like, around Christmas time, and you would uh, see the Santa tracker. Yeah. And it would show, like, like oh, Santa's in fucking uh, Wisconsin right now. Yeah. And it shows, like, the hay, like, radio. Bro, and my dumb ass is I just, never saw that. No, they have it all, <laughs> every year on the news. They bro. Have, they have literally, like, the, uh, like a... Uh, 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 not a picture, but it's like a drawing of the of the sleigh, and you yeah. can tell it's animated, bro. Yeah. They just boom flying around, it, and you see it's like it says it's like the Santa tracker. It tells you the speed and everything, bro. And these kids are just Still watching that shit. Like, <laughs> that was me though. No, that's good. No, my no, dumb no, ass used to be like, kid. Yeah, yeah. Cool. oh, bro, he's over here right now. Like that's hard. <laughs> you see, fucking TJ, there's a little <laughs> quick stuff in Hong Kong. You're like, what? Yeah, he's over here. Yeah, my just going down the chimney. <laughs> Is there already waiting nah, for him? But in, in Mexico, it's Papa <laughs> Noel, no? El Papa Noel, Papa Noel, yeah. Papa Noel. Papa Noel, yeah. Yeah. But it's good, it's cool, it's cool. You just literally gave me no homo, you gave me chills, that shit. Like, going back and, like, real, like, seeing that shit, bro, like, yeah. that's the that's the Christmas spirit that I you get. I don't think they did this show on the I never saw it. No, they haven't, no, 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 no. I think it was, like, KTLA. Oh, that's okay. where they it's have like it. The, it's like the know. United States. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> My fault, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I think. <laughs> yeah, they have that shit. On the KT. Okay, the, the holidays are coming up. We're talking about some little holiday stuff. What was like? What was that movie you liked watching in the morning? Or like at the day of the holidays? Oh my God! So funny you say this, and I just told told y'all this the other day. Um, so the other day I'm at Erwan. Before y'all start cooking me, why I'm at Erwan? My oh. girlfriend. My girlfriend wanted a fucking um, what's it called? She How wanted. How expensive a, was it, bro? Bro, 
expensive as f- you never catch me there like for funsies i'm gonna be like hey boys meet up meet me at everyone for lunch <laughs> like nah bro just let's go to chipotle you, you, you want to try you want yeah try. no I, I mean my girlfriend was like oh i really want to try air one like you know i see this on tiktok anyway she's a really big person on food talk so she wanted to go and i went f- amazing but that's not the story the story is i'm at air one <laughs> and i'm waiting to get my food and i kid you not and the reason I'm bringing this up is because he asked me what movie was my favorite growing up. But y'all remember the little during kid the holidays. during the holidays, um, the little kid from Home Alone, the, yeah. the the white kid, the little I don't know his real name, but um, McCallister, McCall- yeah, him, him, the little, the famous Home Alone kid. What's his name? Yeah, McCullin. I don't know how to say his last name. Yeah, um, bro, he walks right past me, and I fucking fanboyed like a little. Bro, I, was like, <laughs> I went into my girl's ear and I was like, "Oh my god, bro, that's the kid from Home Alone. That's the kid from Home Alone." And obviously, he's like a grown man now. Like he's, you could tell. Like, but I knew who he was. Like I've obviously, I, I think there was a time coming up that like, uh, he he was always in the news for some bad stuff. Like as an adult, am I am I mistaken, David? No, you got, he got into a lot of like drug issues. Yeah, yeah, he got into drug issues. So I know what he like. I saw him as I was growing up. I would see like how he looks like as an adult. So I knew it was him. And I was like, "Holy f-, like!" And I freaked out because I that was literally my childhood growing up was. F- christmas time home alone home alone one two three every home alone possible i watched and i didn't ask for a flick or anything i just you know he was eating i wasn't gonna bother him you know, but it was cool to see him i was like holy f- like that was yeah, my childhood right you here you know he's uh i'm not saying he's married or he's dating uh brenda song yeah yeah he's married Linda to Lin- yeah Lyndon Tinton, Lyndon put yeah. the tip in <laughs> <laughs> nah, <my fault. laughs> yeah yeah he's married what, to what, the girlfriend what about you gay mine was um well it was funny because i used to like in the mornings i used to like watching um Nos robamos el cable back in the day for my neighbor. <laughs> Nos robamos, we would drag the, somehow they would drag the cable from, from up there. top. You yeah, and, and then down. boom, they would put it. So we would have, uh, I would watch Nickelodeon and they would always have the SpongeBob special. Oh. And I love watching the Sponge, SpongeBob special. But another movie, like an actual movie, to answer your question, is um, damn, uh, something, something Christmas vacation with uh, Chevy Chase. Yeah, that one, that one. It's a really, really funny ass movie. I've never heard of it. What? National Lampoon Family Vacation. Christmas Vacation, yeah. It's a badass movie with Chevy Chase. It's actually really, really, it's really funny. It's really funny. If you guys ever get the chance, if you guys ever get the chance to watch it, go watch that shit. Hell yeah. What about you, Leaves? Uh, my favorite. Uh, so um, I don't know why they'd always like my f- okay during the holidays. I don't know why they'd always play. Um, they play what's that movie called? I think they would play Shark Boy and Lava Girl, which is not a Christmas movie, but they'd always play it. Mm. Right. So I really liked it growing up. A little bit, but like, bro, my my go to, like, my go to always now that since it came out, it came out when I was a little older, but I watch it every year. Like, it's just like something I have to watch is, um, is what's it called? Good Luck Charlie, it's Christmas. Mm-hmm. You're like, you a bitch. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, I really like that movie because I feel like I, I feel like I had like the Mexican version of the family because they were a big family and I had a big family. I'm like, well, it was basically us, but the white, like, that was my go to, bro. Good Luck Charlie, it's Christmas. And when I got a little older, like like you know, like finally like oh I fucking hair in my ass, I, I started <laughs> I, I uh uh Friday uh, Friday after next. Oh yeah. Friday yeah, after yeah, next. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my go to. I think for me, recently, and this is me like literally yesterday just finishing because I've been missing out, bro. I'm a fucking goofy, I but I just thing. finished watching all Harry Potter movies. All of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, part one and part two. That's crazy. I even watched the reunion and the Bro, I became recently in like the last month. I became the biggest Harry Potter fan. I've been, I've been like putting it. I've been, what is it called? Putting off, putting it, putting off. it aside. Yeah, I've been like putting it to the side for the long for years, bro. I'm 25 years old, and I've been putting off Harry Potter my entire. I don't like, think everybody's watched it though. But like I, so this is the thing though. Like okay, so you know, oh, you guys haven't been to Universal in Orlando, but I think there is a Harry there's Potter world here. Yeah, the, yeah you get the here. butter beer. Yeah, but the Harry butter Potter, beer. but the Harry Potter world in Orlando is insane, bro. It's nice. It's nuts. It's nuts. It's it literally feels like you're in Hogwarts, or like everything. Just the whole. Fuck. Anyways, Where's Hogwarts. At? It's not a real place. Bro. Oh, I thought the real place. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but like growing up, I would go there, and it would be cool and all. But like now that I finished the movies and I understand everything. Bro, Harry Potter has become like my favorite. I don't know, man. It's like that's your like your favorite movie right now. Not movie, movie but like, uh, is that a trilogy? What does that thing called? Like all those like a franchise, series? franchise, a franchise. Yeah, franchise. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My favorite. Yeah, like I binge watch every night, every single night. I was watching the a new movie, and they're like two and a half hours long. Like, you started long. watching when you went to Japan, right? I started watching it like I think a little bit before that. Oh, okay. I started watching it here, but yeah, bro, and Harry Potter, dog. 
is dope. Y'all should watch it. I'm telling you, give it a try now that you're an adult. It's a little different. It hits different. I'll, I'll try to watch it. I'm just, I've just never been a fan of like franchises because I know how long it takes. It's just a long Yeah, but you'll be hooked. Unless it's Fast and Furious. Unless it's Fast and Furious. See, like that, I haven't even. Maybe I got to rewatch it now that I'm an adult too. But I think I stopped watching it after. Cars. Yeah, I think At I just stopped watching it. really like you got to be a car guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And afterwards, they started. After, I don't know what the f they went to space. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like, what the, where was it? I thought we were just switching our engines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny. Is so, there anything else that brings back like, nostalgia um, for y'all? Like Christmas around around this time? Maybe, maybe, I mean, it could be Thanksgiving. You know, the, the smell for me, the sm it sounds weird, but the smell of fucking like pumpkin spice. <laughs> I thought he was about to say pussy. <laughs> nah, that, that one too. But the, like walking into a store and you smell the pumpkin spice or the pumpkin candles or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. you walk in, that shit, you just like, damn, that shit, it just brings back. That. It's a little thing, but it goes a long way. I think for me, it's the, the weather, bro. Once oh, it starts getting like chilly. But outside, here in California, like it does get cold. chilly, but like, nah, I feel like where you from, it probably gets cold out here, bro. No, bro. But uh, there's been times where it don't even rain here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't, like, no, don't don't, but rain. it don't rain. Usually over there, it doesn't rain. Oh, it rain the, either? My fault, no, bro. bro. Not in, like, the winter time. Yo, what's up with this time change? Like, bro, oh, it's, it's dark by, like, 5.30. Yeah, nah, yeah bro. 4.30 is already the sun's going. I'm like, bro, like, yeah. ah, that's why I don't be running. Because I get fucked Nah, me. that's <laughs> why you don't be <laughs> running? my mentality. No way you blame the time change because you don't be swear, running. bro, I've been thinking about running, and then I'm like, oh, bro, it's too dark. Fuck around. Fuck around and pass algo. You feel me? It's too dark. Nah, bro. Yeah, that's to me, man. It's And it's like... I just want to be home, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. dark as f You just be like, I just go just home, home, bro. Chilling, like, just chill, yeah. watch a movie. You know what I do remember? Uh, the smell of ponche. Oh, ponche. Bro, I remember getting drunk off that shit. <laughs> hey, was that, is that like the, like the, uh, they, like jungle they, they had a They had to change it, like, in my, my family, with my padrino and my, my dad and all that. Because my, before, my madrina used to make, like, two of them and just one of them pour alcohol. Oh, okay. But now, now after after a mis uh, accident that happened, <laughs> uh, it was like, nah, she made a big one, like, just obviously ponche ponche, and then you'd have to add your own. Oh, I feel it. Because some, some dumbass, I'm not going to say who, uh, <laughs> drank out of the ponche, got a little tipsy. Was it me? That was me. Oh, the kid. <laughs> the dumbass, bro. I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, it should taste weird. Oh, you got... You got like, I didn't get drunk, but I was a kid, bro. Like, yeah. I didn't drink a good amount. I drank like this much. ¿Y ya lo sentías? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. ¿Te estabas armando la prima? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just I actually kidding. don't have primas here. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. <laughs> They're in Veracruz? Yeah. Mm. Creo que se salvaron. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm done, bro. It's just a joke, guys. I'm not from Monterrey. It's just a joke. Why do you say Monterrey? Because that's supposedly where they, like, they do that. Se la rima la, la, prima. la prima se la rima. No, wait, that has? Supposedly. Yeah, that, it's like here, Alabama. Is that a proven fact? No, nah, I don't think it's a proven fact, but we're just, I'll Chat. take along with the joke. I'm going to hey, be honest. Can I we put it up on the screen right here? There's no screen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've heard uh, you You talk to like the old heads. Like the old heads would be like, yeah. hey, if, you know, if there's... If, you gotta play. Sometimes you, you, Dude, you know what's crazy? I've talked to somebody from Alabama, and I've and I've talked to someone from Monterrey. In the same concept, they say, "Why well, go across town? We could go across the hall." Yeah. Like, what are you saying, bro? Yeah. You know, like he, someone from Alabama told me this, bro. Like, like nah, I'm not gonna I, say his name. I need his name. I need his name. No gang. So but bleep it out. Nah, nah. Okay, but uh, nah. That motherfucker sounds like a freak. He's like 20 years old or what? But I think he was just trying to go along with the joke. No, I'm gonna be honest. It's, it's true. Hey, bleep they, that name out, please. They say, they say, este, este, que se queden la familia. Like, in nah, the they say bro. some bro. Yeah, yeah they, que se queden nah, la familia. Out of the pocket, That's crazy. Uh, is it time, Thomas? Yeah, possible, bro. But, 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 by the way, guys, we might cut the, I'm gonna be honest, be honest, we might cut the podcast short because I am sick. I have a doctor's appointment and we are an hour away from it. I just, I just want to leave you guys with this last, last question that we were asking before the podcast started. Oh, yeah. You got to ask that. Let's so, ask that. Let's go into so let, Oh, let, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Let's, let's make it uh, brief. But let's say you're walking down the street, right? You're with your girl. It's just you and her. Your walking main down. girl. You feel your me? The main, one you yeah, love, yeah. Not your side. No, no. The one that you're I main. No, nah, but sometimes you love your side more than the, nah, than the main. I've never loved my side, bro. I That's swear. a problem, man. For, hey, Brent, don't catch his feelings yeah, easily. That's oh, the problem. Catch you guys. Okay, man. They text him up. Three, uh, hey, with three Y's, and he's already out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's, she's he replies with that, what's your ring size? <laughs> oh, yeah. But look, 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 watch. So you're walking with your main girl down the street, and a, uh, you just hear a big, boom, a big ass fucking cachetadota, bro. And it's fucking Bradley Martin just smacked your girl's cheeks right in the ass and got It don't have to be particular Bradley Martin, but Bradley Martin Bill. Bradley Martin, yes. Bradley Martin Bill, I'm sorry. Bradley Martin Bill just squeezes her shit, Six, bro. four. 260. Bill, 260. Ken, Rich. Rich, yes. Okay, what do you do at that point? 
Uh, Are you just going to let it slide? Because I know, look, me, I'm going to look at them like this from head. Just go all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. When I see that motherfucker up there, yeah, I'm going to be like, you know what? Baby, you're on your own. You're just going to let her have it? Yeah, You're going to let him have it? Nah. You can I'll, have it. I'll sh but you don't have a gun, I'm talking about right now, bro. Yes, bro. I got that sh on me. You don't have anything. I would dead ass. I swear on everything. Headshot. One. You do not have anything on you. All right, bro. Now, real sh probably, I, I have to let him have it, gang. What am I going to really? do? Really? What am I going to do? What are you going to do, Me? Gang? A guy that big, bro? I, I rush the shit. You really rush I actually know shit. how to. I know how to fight it, like a decent amount. Oh, you're going to be tired after the second swing. I'm not, bro. I, I could last at least two rounds. Two rounds of what? What are you talking about? Like, yeah, like, yeah, like. Well, how how long are the rounds? Was it like a two minute round? Damn, bro. Two, two minutes, minutes is a long time a in long fighting. Time. Yes, hell yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, thirty. Yeah, seconds. but you're not winning the fight. Ah, I still get a punch. You think you'll get one lick in? I, yeah, I for sure could get one. Yeah, lick in. but but then again, that's more that's more that's more acceptable. That's more acceptable because his girl's gonna look at him and be like, even though he's gonna come home with a black eye. Yeah, but. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but you're the rock. But his girl will be like, hey, baby, at least you tried. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, he didn't go. He's not going to go. But out imagine, like okay, but imagine our situation. Let's say we don't do anything. Remember that argument when we get home? It's like, so you're not going to do nothing? No, I would have like, been, like, been like, did you see the guy? I'm like, <laughs> no, I wouldn't have done anything. But then again, I think in that situation, I think the girl has to be like, like not considerate, but I think the girl has to like. Nah, she got to be considerate, bro. Yeah, she got to look at him and got to look at you. So he's going to go like this and then just be like, you know what? She's the one that's supposed to jump in and say something like, bro, don't be doing that type shit. I think so. <laughs> I you, think you so. want her to get in front of you like this? Like, no, don't hurt Yes, her. bro. What the, what the Bro, look at that. Look no, at, you know what? You know, and ladies, if this, God forbid this ever happens to you, but if this ever happens to you, you know what you got to do? You got to get on your man. Like, like push him away. Oh. And then you got to play along like, you look at my girl holding me back. You look at my, <laughs> but you better not let go of him. You feel me? Like, you better not be like, okay, get him, baby. Nah, you got to. It's like, and you gotta, you gotta sell it, like, babe. You know, you got, you got that criminal record. You can't, you can't have more yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta really yeah, sell yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. And you got that thing on you, don't you? And yeah. Imagine, yeah. imagine she's literally, like you said, she starts believing it. Like you're like, oh, I'm gonna f up. Hold me back. It's like, you know what? Now nah, you gonna. F up, nah, I'll be tight. I'll be, I'll <laughs> but what the fuck you doing? <laughs> 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 no, nah, but that's a little. That's a question. That's a question that I just wanted to throw out there. Uh, let us know the answers in the comment section. Let us know what you think about the podcast. Let us know how you feel during the holidays, and most importantly, what makes you jolly for the holidays i think you can say but thank you guys so much for tuning you we, guys uh, we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna start bringing on guests on the channel um so start commenting down below who do you guys want us to have on we already have some lined up so uh yeah we're gonna start trying to make this podcast you guys know a lot about us and you guys hear our every single week yeah we can only say so much before y'all probably get annoyed of us before we get canceled and that too <laughs> and so we're gonna start having guests on so you guys can you know start getting to know some other people in the in different industries but uh yeah a new video out with bradley martin picolandia video you guys probably have watched it by now but if you haven't go watch it it's on the chicos toxicos channel uh thank you guys so much for tuning into the intoxicados podcast chicos toxicos channel felipe's channel my channel and felipe anything you want to say all i have to say guys before we head out comment down below if you want the chicos toxicos to pull up to your Christmas, Thanksgiving. Let's let's run it back like last year. Yeah. It was uh, what, what is the name? What is the name of it? It's it called Posada. Posada, the Posada. Yes. Yeah. We love to know. pull up, man. If it's cool with your family for us to vlog, we love to pull up and uh, have a great time, party with your uncle, and uh, don't say a dumbass line. Remember that dumbass joke you said? Pantera. The Pantera joke. Yeah, that's how it started. Oh my God! Yeah. Gotta be a year since we introduced Pantera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. No, that that was for the Big Bear blog, huh? No, no. no well, we brought Posada. Yeah, it was at the he Posada. Like, he's like, hey, saludos. Uh, no, it was the youth. Like, saludos a Pantera. Yeah. yeah and you're like, he's like, who's Pantera? El que te metió la verga entera, <laughs> brother. Like, ah, uh -huh. ah. Uh -huh. Falta de respeto. Falta de respeto, huh? <laughs> Let us know. Let us know. That was a great idea. Let us know if you want us to pull up to your Posada. If you want us to pull up to your bachelor party. If you need help with the tamales. With the tamales. Yeah, we would love to do some like that. But uh, anything else? That's it. No? We love you guys so much. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.